Well, we're in a yard that has had no work done to it yet. Um, it's kind of an odd combination of things. We sold most of the colonies out of this yard. We sell a lot of bees every fall. And we brought in some small singles from another location in North Carolina to uh, repopulate the yard. Uh, the singles uh, are gonna be double deeps by the time we're done today and we're gonna equalize everything. Uh, some of these colonies will be real strong and some of them will be a little weaker. And it's early March and the honey flow's at least a month away. We don't want the big ones to peak too soon or they'll just swarm on us. And we want the little ones to be ready on time. So that's what the equalizing's all about. And uh, I'm not real sure what we're going to find, but uh, we're going to have a look at it. This yard is laid out in a very peculiar fashion. Most of our yards uh, are laid out in rows or grids, but we kind of had to follow the contour of the land here. Um, so it's a little odd looking, but that doesn't really matter. The bees don't care. So this one overwintered here from last year. It didn't get sold, and that one came in from North Carolina. So we'll compare them. We always look at the lids to make sure the queen's not on the lid. This colony looks pretty good. This drone brood right in the middle is a good way to see if you've got any mites. If there's mites in the colony, they'll be in that brood. You have to look instantly because in a few seconds they disappear. I see no mites. We haven't seen any mites yet this season, so we're, we're feeling pretty good about our mite load. That's because we used oxalic acid twice in winter when they were broodless. It really made a difference. I want to get all the brood I can in the bottom box and uh, leave the uh, empty frames up above. I start out by going as far as I can before I see pollen. This is loaded with pollen, so that's going to be my first frame against the wall. And then the rest will be brood. No grass, no trash. So that's pollen. That's nothing. That looks pretty good. That's four frames of brood right there and two frames of pollen. Okay, I'm going to end up giving Tommy a couple frames of brood. We're going to equalize these two colonies. I want to make sure he gets a frame that's either sealed or hatching bees. That's the perfect frame to equalize with. This is a nice frame to give Tommy because it's got hatching bees. They're hatching as we speak right now. So what we usually do is I'll look closely for the queen and then I'll let him look for the queen again. We kind of check twice, make sure we don't miss her. There's the queen. I got the queen. so. That problem is over. And if we see them, we mark them. It's a 2019 queen, so she's going to get a green dot. So now that we know where the queen's at, it makes everything much easier. We've got a little bit of food, but not a lot, so we're going to feed them. 
All the brood's in the bottom, so I'm going to put the empty combs in the center, in the top box. This is a man lake cap and ladder, gallon and a half. We have them in a lot of our double deep colonies. where the brood begins. This is a textbook uh, frame of brood. It's got honey in the corners, pollen on the perimeter of the brood itself. And here we have some sealed brood that was laid a couple weeks ago. It's, it's hatching out and she's relaying the center with eggs. This would actually be a good frame to equalize with because those bees on the outside are hatching right now as we speak. So I'll glance for the queen and set this one aside, probably give it to Tommy. Lots of brood, beautiful brood. More solid sheets of brood. This one, this one doesn't need any care at all. It's dead. <laughs> <laughs> we'll repopulate that in about a month. I'm just going to leave the equipment sitting right here. It's plenty cold. We don't have a wax moth problem yet, so in a month we'll repopulate this with a nuke. Oh, y'all taking getting out of some clothes, huh? Yeah. Got extra brood, Tommy? I think so. Okay. Yes. I, I could take one or two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a good single. Mine ain't as good as yours. No mites. I love it. So, I see we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've got room for seven more. We'll bring some nukes in here in a few weeks and finish out this yard. I believe this yard's supposed to hold 40 when it's full. We like yards of 32 to 40. We have quite a lot that are 48 or so, but we prefer 32 to 40. On to the next yard. <laughs>